silent room. Being a final semester student is the toughest phase for some people, including me. Being the first daughter is also not an easy matter. My parents' expectations became a burden for me. I'm afraid of disappointing them. I'm afraid of not being able to make them proud. I am required to be independent, do everything myself. As I started to enter my 20s, this is where it all started. Right now I'm sitting in the family room with my parents and sister. Then suddenly my mother asks, when are you graduating? And I answered, just pray, ma'am. As soon as possible, mommy hopes you finish quickly, then continue looking for work, mom said again. I just nodded in response. To be honest I'm actually not comfortable with a situation like this with the same question being asked many times. I stepped into my room. Beforehand I asked my parents for permission not to disturb me because I wanted to focus on working on my thesis in my room in peace. Actually. Today coincides with the 80th graduation at my campus. Several of my classmates have graduated and graduated today. Honestly, I was jealous and couldn't afford to just attend and congratulate them. I know that everyone's process is different. I have made peace with that fact. It's just that sometimes the people around me don't understand that and they have too high expectations of me. I stared at my laptop which was on my gaze was fixed on the thesis which had not been completed because there were several obstacles that made it difficult for me to complete it. My thoughts drifted far away. My thoughts were like tangled threads, difficult to parse. Overthinking begins. In this dark corner of my room, I pondered a lot and ended up blaming myself. Questions like why can't I be like them? Why isn't my process as smooth as theirs? kept popping into my head, but I quickly brushed it off. Since entering this final semester, I often feel stressed. My sleep schedule is messed up. I experience insomnia every night because I think too much. I also lose motivation and enthusiasm. Even the walls of my room are silent witnesses to how anxious I am thinking about the future. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. There are also many final semester students out there who also feel the same way as me. In the past, when I first entered college, I was an active and critical student. In fact, I am also active in several intra and extra campus organizations. I feel like the person I am now is different from the person I used to be. I used to be an ambitious child. My achievement index was above 3.5. Some even had 4.0. But now, as if I no longer have the enthusiasm to finish what I have started, I feel lonely because I am far behind my friends. Every time I see their stories during proposal seminars and colloquiums, I feel inferior. Even my friends who were less prominent in class can get ahead of me, which is something I didn't expect. I've tried my best, only I know the limits of my abilities. I believe God has prepared a beautiful plan for the future. I will be at peace with myself. I will enjoy my process even though it feels like I have to turn upside down facing it. I've gone too far. There's no turning back. I thank myself for being strong to reach this point. And for those of you who are also in that position, believe that there is a beautiful plan that God has prepared for you. There is a toga waiting for you and there is a proud smile from your parents who will accompany you on your happy day. Keep your enthusiasm and don't forget to be grateful. Enjoy the process because we are great people according to ourselves.